What's up, Aries, and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for your love and support is greatly appreciated, all right? We're going to tap into your weekly energy reading, Aries. This is for Aries and Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node, okay? Um, make sure you like the video, okay? If you uh, hit that thumbs up button, and if you uh, enjoy it here, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. All right, um, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Energy is fluid. <clears throat> Energy is fluid. Reverse the roses need be. If you would like a personal reading, please click the description box below and visit my website to book a personal reading. All right. Look, okay, some confusion men, okay, some confusion men. Button heads, who you button heads with? Oh, all right, spirit. Please provide me message for the collective of Aries. All right. Message for the collective of Aries. the you have the ace of swords here you have the two of cups you have the two of swords in reverse you have the wheel of fortune you have the ten of cups page of swords Judgment. Four of Wands. Hierophant in reverse. And the death. All right, let me. This is your current energy. You're working hard right now. You're focused on something. You're focused on something that you want. Not really ready to make a decision or trying to choose something. Having patience with others while working on yourself, okay? Doing your mommy thing. Doing your spiritual growth. Aligning yourself because you already know that you want success. You're destined for success. All right, and you will get it, right? So it's like you're very confident here, Aries. You're very confident in what it is that you want, where it is that you're going. And looking at these cards, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's up. <laughs> it's up this week. You got um, one, two, three, four major arcanas on the deck, right? A lot of positive energy on the deck here. So like positivity, it's like no matter what, what has gotten your way, I feel like, um, this week brings in clarity for you. This week brings in alignment for you. Um, there's going to be some type of revelation, okay, or communication. Like you're going to have the reasons. Like if, if there's somebody that you like or someone that likes you, you're going to like have the reason. Like you're going to know why. You're like, oh, okay. I know why this person wants to connect with me. I know why this person wants to be in a relationship with me. I know why this person's in my energy now. You know, like you're going to, you're going to be able to see that this week, right? And so it, it like, it's like, I can see clearly now, right? So it was, it's, it could have been a lot of things that was happening around you um, that you weren't focused, all right? Or some type of chaos energy, you know, uh, in your mix. But it's like now you're, you're moving forward and, and things are clear, okay? Whether this is you or your person, somebody is like, okay, you know, the time is now. Right now, I want to move forward, okay? Do not move forward until after the retrograde is over. I can just, I, 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 they're there. Entertain the thought within yourself. Keep your space, you know, keep your, keep your, keep your person in your space, but don't move forward. 
until after the shadow period of the retrograde, okay? And the retrograde ends on the 18th, and then the shadow period ends, like, after that. So keep keep them close, <laughs> but don't move, right? Um, everything is working out in the divine timing here. Um, things are aligning for you. Okay. Yeah, a lot of things are aligning for you. A lot of things are coming together. All right. This is this is positivity. This is for movement. Um, this is karmic justice happening for you. Someone may talk to you about getting married. All right. And this person may just be ha just like this person may make you very happy. I heard Pisces when I looked at this. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But I heard Pisces specifically. All right. So, um, you could be. Um, Pisces, Aries, cuss, or you could be dealing with someone that's Pisces, but I heard Pisces specifically. I feel like um, if you are like, if you are dealing with like a Pisces or something, like this person really, 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 really is fond of you. Um, you may get like this person contacting you more, you know, just like, saying hey you know what i know what i want and like they're gonna say i know what i want and and, and and you're gonna know that they mean it um i feel like now you're like you're gonna be paying more attention to this individual this week the words that they say it's like it's gonna you you know they serious like you just gonna know you're like okay all right yeah this they, they sound serious like it's uh, hopefully if you're not one of those people that like doubt yourself all the time um, or a negative thinker, like, you know, you will blow this. I don't, I just don't feel like I'm talking to that collective. I, I feel like you are in tune with yourself and you're going to know it. This person wants stability. This person may be speaking about moving in, but they're not really talking about marriage, okay? There could be an, a Taurus in your energy that you are removing from your energy for some, some, some reason. Um, or if you are dating a Taurus, um... <clears throat> You're no longer dating them. Like, okay, out with the old, in with the new. Um, this particular individual. So you could be leaving a Taurus to deal with the Pisces. But this particular individual here, it's like <laughs> they want stability. But <laughs> they don't want marriage. Like, they want you to do something different. And you're like, nah, we can't do that. Like, <laughs> you like, I can't. You can't live with me and we not married. Like, this is what I'm getting here. <laughs> You can't live with me and I'm and we're not married, but it's 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 going, right? But you guys are on the same page emotionally at this point, right? You know what this person wants. What messages for Aries? Yeah. So you and this person may very well be be friends, right? Um and, and it's like you're gonna teach them something. Like, um, I don't know what you're used to, but until you're comfortable enough with marrying me, um, you know, we're not, we're not going down that, that path. You're not going down that road and like, they get it. But like this person is like now, like, man, they feel like they're going to lose you. Um, you're challenging this person. This person has never been challenged like this before. <laughs> They've never been challenged like this before. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups came out together. This person is going to take this, take this chance, right? Um, this person is going to take the chance. They could be getting a job near you. Or starting some type of new job, um, or, or this person is looking at this like, okay, you know what? With, with their money making abilities and my money making abilities, we could really make some stuff happen here, right? And so, I feel like this person is gonna take a chance. This person looks at you, you know, um, as you're, you're very different. You're very, very different. Okay, three aces up on the board, <laughs> like right there. You're very different. This person wants everything that you're offering. They love your mind right? You're, you're very uh, money motivated. Okay. And they love the way that you get to the bag. They love the way that you love them. Okay. Or that you like them. They love the feeling that they get when they're talking to you. They love the fact that you're a business person, right? You're about your business. You don't play no games. You don't hold your tongue and you're just something completely new. They have a whole, like the passion that burns for you. They feel like they've never had this passion before, right? Them or you. Somebody, I'm talking about somebody giving me a whole love song, baby. Yeah. So, like, 
you're gonna get what you want from this situation okay like six of wands yeah <laughs> you're gonna get what you want from this situation so i feel like this person is gonna try to play like you know trying to take it as far as they can to not give you what you want but they're not walking away um if they if they did walk away they, they coming back right they can't they can't they can't they're trying to they're trying to bring stability in this situation at this time yep nine of swords somebody's about to take action somebody's about to take action towards the situation okay so they're gonna there's that conversation where like hey as i said before if they walk away they're not walking away from good for good but they're like i don't want to jump in to marry you i want to you know chill out this person like if you do some type of spiritual <laughs> If you do some type of spiritual work, this person may feel like you're trying to trap them because they don't know why they feel like this presently, right? And so this person may, um, and there's the king king of cups here again. I had the ten of cups. So this person very well may walk away, right, for now because they're scared. Like, no, I'm just going to be by myself or this is you walking away. Like, okay, unless you give me what I want, I'm not dealing with it, right? So it's this it's this game here. It's hard to get game. You are wish fulfillment. You are what this person wants. You are the path of least resistance. You are the star. So you could have some type of job again doing some type of spiritual work here. And this person is like <laughs> they really want to do it, but inside they feel like th the reason they want to do it is it's not their own will. Like they may feel like you're trying to put something on them to bring them in and you like, "Man, man, I ain't even stunting you." Like it's not even that serious. But they're just attracted to a real one. They already know. This person has a little toxicity. All right. You may feel bound to this person. Um, if this person walks away, like, again, they're coming back. But when this person walks away, I feel like you're going to put your focus more into your bag. And keep focusing on your bag. Now the pinnacles here. Whatever you do, you're successful at what you do. Okay, it's 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 enough to for you to sustain. So you may put no. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the money. I'm not focused on love right now. Type of energy. But then this person is coming back. There's communication happening. If they've already walked away, then this is the week that the communication is happening. Like so, you you still in that energy? You still ain't trying to move forward? You still ain't trying to you know? <laughs> like on that type of time right this person like they really really like you i feel like it's just that that piece where this person is feeling like they're being forced by a spiritual force like that's what it feel like they feel like they're being pushed and forced by a spiritual force because they've never felt like this with someone and it's just you you're just you you you're, you're like i'm just awesome that's it i'm just awesome <laughs> So, yeah, that's what's happening in y'all energy, man. Y'all got somebody really scared, and you're like, hey, you're going to do it all the way right, or you're not going to do it at all. This person is really in their head about it. you like, I'm focusing on my money. You figure it out. This person is in their head. They lost in the sauce. I'll share, Aries.